I just want to point out that we have to uh, make an official, we have to come together on the number of Iraqi dead, which is an Iraqi, a genocide in Iraq. It was tens of thousands in 2003. It was hundreds of thousands in 2005. It is 1.2 million and rising every day. That is 5% of Iraq's population. That is the reality of our policy in Iraq. And in January 2003, just weeks before our illegal invasion, Nelson Mandela made the following statement. All Bush wants is Iraqi oil. Why is the U.S. not seeking to confiscate weapons of mass destruction from its ally Israel? What, what I am condemning is that one power with a president who has no foresight, who cannot think properly, is now wanting to plunge the world into a holocaust. Well, as the banner on the aircraft carrier read, mission accomplished, although I like mission accomplished, my ass, for the holocaust of ethnic cleansing in Palestine has extended to Iraq, complements of our illegal and brutal occupation. Were there weapons of mass destruction in Iraq? No. Were there ties between Saddam Hussein and Al-Qaeda? No. Did the Iraqi people ever pose a threat to us? No. Have Sunni and Shia been killing each other for thousands of years? No. How do we know the administration is lying to us? Their lips are moving. In Iraq today, as in Latin America in the 1980s, the bloodshed began when American CIA operations were set in motion. In reality, and think about this now, while there are over two and a half million Iraqi refugees living mainly in, Sy in Syria and Jordan, there is no mass bloodshed and torture in these neighboring countries. The genocide just happens to be occurring inside Iraq, where American CIA, Israeli Mossad, and the most powerful military in the world are running operations. It's very simple. Invasion and occupation are illegal, and there must be one consistent standard for justice and the law. No timetables, just immediate withdrawal. No conditions, just immediate withdrawal. No more stop-lossing soldiers, just immediate withdrawal. Iraq needs only one thing from us, just immediate withdrawal. Worldwide, we the peacemakers are the majority. Whatever obstacles we encounter in the struggle, they are nothing compared to what the Iraqi people are facing every day. We are here, we have to push forward, and we cannot stop until our government's crimes do. Bring them home, bring them home.